Hi my friends, welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to show you the process of uh, my business card art and crafts collab swap of my journal cover and so I'm going to take you along with me. Um, again, this was my prompt and so I hope you guys like it, enjoy it and I'll see you at the end. Okay. These are some of the images that I cut out and I'm thinking about using. That can change, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it all or some. This is my focal point image. I think that image is beautiful. It's a mommy and her daughter or a grandma and her granddaughter. It's just a beautiful image and so I thought that would be beautiful for that and I also have like images like this I have some beautiful soft flowers um, there's another one so I don't know what I'm gonna use exactly um, I may use most of it I may change it up and find something else to put on it along the way so I'm not sure Here's some beautiful white flowers. So I guess we'll see. You know? But that is what I have. That is the idea that I'm thinking. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. This video, of course, will be pre-recorded. Because... I'm going to be doing the before and after all in one. So I hope you guys stay and watch the video. Um, enjoy the process. And let me know at the end what you think. Don't forget to use hashtag prompt journal if you guys decide to show a process video or the complete piece. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm going to put some music on and um, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys stay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all the ladies who are participating in this awesome collab. Thank you to my co-host, Wanda. I love you, girl. And we will get started with this. Okay, thank you. Stay blessed.
Hey friends, so here I just want to show you some of the things that I may uh, incorporate into the cover. So I have some of this lace um, that I may or may not use. Um, I took out uh, this ribbon, which is very, very pretty, translucent. Um, I have some sari ribbon, which I'm I'm thinking about on um, dyeing it to the color that I need. Um, I have some of this, which looks like cheesecloth, but it's not. This is actually the medical um, gauze. I'm gonna use some of that, and I also have a piece of canvas fabric. And I also have a piece of this fabric, which is so pretty. And I'm thinking I may or may not use it, but for a pop of color, I think this is so pretty. Um, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do on the cover, but I have an idea on my head, of course. So let's see where, what I use and what I don't. And then I have all these pretty trims that I purchased on Etsy and let me just show you there's a whole bunch in there really 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 pretty look at that one look how pretty that is and then there's the colors of pastel look at that one how pretty And so, in my mind, I'm trying to do something like, um, look at that one, how pretty that is. Um, I want to do something like soft in colors. And so, I'm going according to the focal point, which is the picture that I showed of the bunnies. And so, I'm thinking more along these colors. Look at this one. This is like a cream. Look how pretty that is. So, yeah. So I may, may or may not use some of these items. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that and we'll continue with the cover.
guys okay so this is my finished uh, cover page um, I hope that Miss Karamia likes it and so I added the flowers at the end just to give it a pop of color I think that the colors go really pretty together it still um, gives it that soft look um, I did add the little bow on her head which I made out of that trim that I showed earlier um, this part here is made out of handmade paper I mean I mean I just ripped the piece off and put it here but I also um, just sewed in like the lines and um, of course I added the pearls here at the end which I think give it a pretty look I mean some of it is hiding which I like you would have to go in to look at it this way like that but it's really really pretty I like the fact that it hides a little bit in there. Um, yeah, and this, and this is what I wanted. I wanted it to be like a soft look. So I added this type of ribbon, which is like a pretty see-through transparent ribbon. And it has like a little bit of silky, like a silky look to it, like a little bit of shimmer on there. And... Um, then I added the sari that I dyed with the pink dye and I love that image and so um, that could be a mommy and a daughter it can also be a um, grandmother and granddaughter or even a big sister with her little sister which is so cute and so I was gonna add um, like a sentiment or something to the cover but I'm gonna leave it up to Kara to do that and so what I thought um, I like the title above all things love that's one so I made her two of them in different colors and then there's another one come live in my heart so I made her two of those so um, I'm gonna leave it up to her because I don't I didn't want to like I don't know if this is gonna be too big for the cover and I don't want it to take away from the cover so I'll send her these I mean if she wants to switch it up and change it she can do that this is her journal cover but I'll send them to her anyway because that was the idea that I had for the sentiment I think it goes well with it but she can of course change it and do whatever she wants with it so yeah guys this is my um, cover for my business card arts and crafts collab swap for my partner uh, Kavamia's Corner. I'm going to link her information down below so you can check her out and um, hopefully soon after I post this I will be getting my uh, general cover from her and of course I'll share that with you guys as well. So thank you for, me, for coming along in this process. Let me know what you think and um, I will see you guys next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.